And that's my little disclaimer I like to put. Uh, but it says Oprah Winfrey terrified. He was running with that whole crew. Weinstein, Oprah, Epstein. He was running with that whole crew. Did he blog? Did he blog? We're gonna call this um, number. Did he blog number 1001? Because I lost count. And he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse so that they would participate in the- Diddy and Oprah Winfrey have long been two of the most influential and seemingly untouchable figures in the entertainment world. However, recent events suggest that hidden truths are finally surfacing. In a shocking twist, Diddy has allegedly revealed explosive information about Oprah, ending years of silence and possibly jeopardizing her legacy as America's queen of talk. But how did their relationship reach this breaking point? And what motivated Diddy to speak out against the former ally? Get ready, because what we've uncovered will leave you stunned. Irrelevant, what do you mean by that? Irrelevant to your children. I know this is hard for a lot of people because <laughs> nobody wants to feel irrelevant. Oh, on the contrary, we want to be the supreme being in our children's lives. Absolutely. Tattoo, tattoo my name on your chest. We would love <laughs> the child to do that. Yes. Well, uh, if our goal is to have children who are unable to honor their own voice, then we make ourselves relevant. If we want to raise children who are empowered, who are resilient, who are gritty, who know how to fall back on their own inner auspices for strength, for courage, for inspiration, mm -hmm. then we raise children who do not need us any. Diddy's fall from grace has been swift and dramatic, with a DOJ official recently listing a series of serious charges against him. It feels like a real-life crime thriller, and the details are far from glamorous. From allegations of fraud to other illicit activities, his once mighty empire seems to be crumbling. But where does Oprah fit into all of this? As the saying goes, when one domino falls, others often follow. Facing mounting legal trouble, Diddy has reportedly begun naming high-profile names in a bid to save himself, including none other than Oprah Winfrey. Could this be his desperate attempt to avoid a lifetime behind bars? Or is there more to the story? Including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and the obstruction of justice. Let me say a little bit more about the charges. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years, and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force, threats of force, and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended sexual performances with male commercial sex workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported over state lines. Combs allegedly planned and controlled the sex performances, which he called freak-offs, and he often electronically recorded them. The freak-offs sometimes lasted days at a time, involved multiple commercial sex workers, and often involved a variety of narcotics, such as ketamine, ecstasy, and GHB, which Combs distributed to the victims to keep them obedient and compliant. As alleged, when Combs didn't get his way, he was violent, and he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse so that they would participate in the freak-offs, and that Combs hit, kicked, threw objects at, and dragged victims, at times by their hair. On one occasion in March of 2016, that conduct was captured on video and later reported in the media. Specifically, Combs kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a victim in a Los Angeles hotel when the victim was attempting to flee. As alleged, these assaults often resulted in injuries to the victims, which took days or weeks to heal. In addition to the violence, the indictment alleges that Combs threatened and coerced victims to get them to participate in the free- Reports are emerging of disturbing incidents involving Diddy, with allegations that he hit, kicked, and dragged victims, at times even by their hair. In one case, documented in March 2016, video footage reportedly shows Diddy kicking and dragging a victim and throwing a vase at them in a Los Angeles hotel as they attempted to escape. 
These incidents allegedly left victims with injuries that required days or even weeks to heal. The indictment also claims that Diddy threatened and coerced victims to involve them in his infamous freak-offs. But how does Oprah fit into this? For years, whispers surrounded Diddy and Oprah's mysterious connection. What began as mutual admiration seems to have evolved into something darker. Now, with shocking leaked audio from one of Diddy's infamous parties surfacing in court, footage reportedly shows Oprah looking visibly shaken during her testimony. Fans and critics are speculating. Could this be the smoking gun that jeopardizes Oprah's empire? As the pieces fall into place, everyone is scrambling to understand the extent of these two powerhouses' ties. Leak audio, over leak audio from Diddy's evil parties now. Me, like me personally, I I feel like uh, her, like her celebrity status uh, and being able to connect so many people it's like she might be right in the middle of all of this, allegedly. Let me just say that. She may be, because you know, the whole uh, Harvey Weinstein and, and all that stuff, that one doctor, that healing doctor she had. So we gonna check this out, man. But hey, buckle up, because I know it's gonna get wild. Let's jump right into it. And this is what I do know for sure. When something this major happens, when you have the fallout, 50 women coming forward, that it's a watershed moment. Singer Seal Instagram this meme, showing Winfrey kissing the disgraced mogul. It reads, when you have been part of the problem for decades, Man. but suddenly they all think you are the solution. The question now, could past attendees like Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore. Yeah, th this is very important for you guys to pay attention. An insider recently exposed what she calls the party favor effect at Diddy's notorious gatherings, dropping bombshells that included high-profile attendees like Oprah. Her revelations have left fans questioning just how deep this rabbit hole goes. If Ali's claims hold any truth, they could shatter Oprah's carefully crafted image as a moral guide for millions. Diddy's recent confession appears to confirm that these gatherings were far from innocent they were about something far darker. The revelations paint a chilling picture of what may have really happened behind closed doors. And I told you guys in that Maria Z interview in 2021 that no one tells on Diddy, P Diddy, all right? Just the same way nobody tells on Denzel Washington. People don't usually talk and stop and think about the children victims that are going through things right now as we speak and the ones who suffered through all this bullshit. I decided to stop for a second and do some projects with some with with projects all around because we just said, you know what? This is our life. It's not changing. We stopped somewhere and I've been hiding. My mom and I have been hiding. We've had our head down. We've tried to back up. We've tried to tell you everything that we can and now we have people messaging us. You knew these parties were not okay. They weren't freak offs. They were satanic ritual orgies Things have taken an even messier turn in a move that seems like a desperate attempt to save himself. Diddy has begun confessing to everything, putting his connection with Oprah in the spotlight. Diddy's sudden willingness to name former friends has Hollywood insiders on edge. It's as if he's determined to bring everyone down with him. The question on everyone's mind is, why now? Did something push him to talk? Or is he angling for a deal with authorities? or perhaps seeking revenge. Whatever the motive, Oprah now appears to be in the crosshairs. If the allegations stick, it could be the end of her once untouchable empire. I'm gonna stay neutral on a lot of this stuff, man. And I'm gonna apologize on every Diddy 
video um i was out back working and i ran across something that said did he escape from jail and i took it and ran with it and jumped on and and did a reaction i'm like oh man i can't believe he somebody broke him out of jail and all this stuff and i really really think i'm almost 99.9 percent .9 sure that it ain't true i know it ain't true because no the major news and everybody would have been talking about it it would have been major news even in the churches <laughs> the day sunday y'all hey so um oprah runs from the fbi until i get proof of whatever the case may be so i don't know um this is downtown and everything so you know a lot of people are spreading all kinds of stuff so i'm just taking it with a grain of salt so to speak so i'm apologizing for um believing everything i've seen on youtube right <laughs> i'm thinking they everybody running their channels like we trying to run our channels man um you know um I try to bring nothing but truth, man. I don't all that bull. I ain't trying to do that. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Let's see if Oprah running from the FBI. Let's check it out. Okay. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's time I gotta hit skip. What? Oprah has recently appeared on the defensive. Footage shows her pressing Cassie about why she quickly settled with Diddy. Oprah's questions were intense, almost as if she were trying to steer the conversation away from specific topics. Viewers picked up on the tension in her voice, hinting she might be more entangled in this drama than she'd like people to believe. Oprah's attempts to shift the spotlight feel less like curiosity and more like a desperate effort to protect her own name leaving fans questioning her true involvement in the unfolding scandal. Silenced. Let's dive right into it. Serious allegations are tarnishing the reputation Diddy spent decades building in the music industry. Once surrounded by a close-knit circle of celebrity friends, he now faces distancing from many of them as these allegations grow. But has anyone seen the leaked VHS tape? Reportedly, it was an invitation to Diddy's 29th birthday party back in 1998, a time capsule from the height of the bad boy era that's now raising eyebrows. Known for his extravagant parties, Diddy never shied away from the nightlife, but it's these very gatherings that seem tied to his current legal troubles. The six-minute-long VHS video captures a pivotal moment in his career, reminding viewers just how far Diddy has fallen from society's grace amid the ongoing scandal. Today, we're here to talk about it because it reveals a side of the entertainment mogul many might have missed, adding to the complexity of a story that's still unraveling. Serious allegations that have tarnished the reputation that he built in the music industry. He once had this close-knit circle of celebrity friends, and now they're kind of distancing themselves in the wake of these serious allegations. Yeah. Now, has anybody else seen the leaked VHS tape? It was possibly, probably, I believe, an invitation to Puffy's 29th birthday party back in 1998 when I was like, mm. and it's raised some eyebrows. Known for his love of partying, Puff Daddy has never shied away from going out and about while hosting such events, although, um, some, if not all, of his current legal troubles kind of stem from those gatherings. But the VHS tape, it's a six minute long video that serves as a time capsule from the peak of the bad boy era. And as kind of a reminder of how far Puff Daddy has slipped from society amid everything going on. And yes, Oprah's in it. That's why we're talking. Let's dive right into it. Serious allegations are tarnishing the reputation Diddy spent decades building in the music industry. Once surrounded by a close knit circle of celebrity friends, he now faces distancing from many of them as these allegations grow. Oprah Diddy party photos that were leaked to the public. I always say, man, like it's gonna be so hard for people to say they weren't there, you know, with with all this this video footage they supposedly have and photos and stuff. Like I said, if they show you went to multiple parties that is not a good look for you you know because they said i always say this in these videos but there's levels to the parties so if you know about what was going on all the craziness and you still went to the level one party versus the level 10 or whatever you call it 
Yeah. Jean Deal, a former 